golden. Now tell the story. I remember year one, I actually, I'm known for throwing a bowling event, but I never bowl. And year one, I did bowl. But it got a little, um, you know, kind of everybody wanted to be on Jerry and Liz's lane, and so it got a little, and there were hurt feelings and stuff like that. So now Jerry and Liz are uh, uh, co hostesses. <laughs> co-host and a hostess and we go around and say thank you to everybody we're so much better than that plus we're lousy bowlers but you have fun we have a lot of fun being and a host and walking around and hearing the walking story. around and you know we take care of little fires and you know somebody's not happy with something for something we make them happy and uh, by the end of the day though it is very emotionally draining because it's a different kind of event it's an event where people I don't think there's anybody who's not touched by cancer, whether they've been diagnosed or you know, they have friends or family, but the stories that are exchanged. You give the minutes to that people who's telling the story. You give your all to that. And by the end of the day, you're kind of drained. It's tough. And it's tough. Yeah, and it's... And you're a survivor. And yeah, people I'm share a, their stories with you a I'm lot. I'm a 17-year survivor, and they tell me about such and such and such and such. And now that we're an older event, you can always say, uh, well, since I saw you last year, I lost my mom or mm -hmm. my dad or whatever. And so it's, it's, and the dichotomy of things is it's ridiculously silly because we're having a good time and giggling. And yet, in the, you know, it's the undercurrent is these stories mm -hmm. and these events. And I keep telling people, you're exactly where you should be right now, raising money for the American Cancer Society. And what a, what a great way to dedicate to it whoever you lost. Absolutely. Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome.